you was an exercise or what I like to call a game and I was uh, in this game I'm uh, uh, using ascending and descending patterns starting on the root and the fifth and I'm alternating between the uh, the root and the fifth and if you like the sound of this uh, keep watching and I'll show you how you can uh, do this on your own so I've been practicing this for a, a few months now I've added it into my regular uh, practice routine and there's a few things that I get out of it and, and I'm hoping you'll get the same thing out of it too so the rules to this game they're very simple you do an ascending or descending pattern and you alternate each bar starting on the root and then the next part of the fifth. And lastly, only use the notes in these patterns. Don't use any extra outside notes. So, um, let me show you these patterns. I'm just gonna show you some ascending examples, descending examples, and then some ascending and descending examples. So here we go, here's some ascending examples. Descending examples. And some ascending descending examples. something about the shifting and the pattern so on the ascending pattern starting from the root the first uh, interval is a major third so from the root to the next interval is a major third so in key of C that'll be C to E now that's quite a when you're down in this position it's no big deal it's this but sometimes you're going to want to play it on one string and you just remember that if you're starting from the root, it's going to be a major third, which can be quite a jump. So you want to get used to that jump. And sometimes too, you're going to end on your fourth finger and then have to shift. So like for example, when you're coming from the fifth, you see I'm ending on my fourth finger there, but then I'm going to want to shift up and use your first finger. So it might be a good idea to just practice getting that shift in different areas of the neck. And for the fifth, when you're ascending, uh, the next interval is uh, a whole step or a major second. So from the fifth to the next interval is a whole step. And in this, in this case, we're in the key of C, so that's G to A. There's G to A here. It's no problem. You just That's the fingering. But again, sometimes you're going to want to play it on one string. So you want to get... So for example, let's put the two together. Shift. Shift. And that gets me up, up to C. And I've only had to... Uh, to shift two times. And things like this, you want to try to shift as little as possible, especially as the tempo starts to get a little faster and faster. Um, yeah, shifting as little as possible will make you, will help you play as clean as, as you can. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'm going to play this around a cycle of force progression, which I highly recommend that you do as well. Take these patterns and play it around a, a cycle of force progression, which is basically just pick a key and keep going up a fourth and you'll eventually end up uh, where you started. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it at three different temples. To me it sounds, uh, this is kind of like a shout walking uh, a bass pattern, you know, like in a gospel tune or uh, a shout section of a song where it goes into a really fast tempo. Uh, the first tempo I'm going to do it at is 240 beats per minute. And and then I'll take it at 200 beats per minute and then finally at 160 beats per minute. When you, uh, when you pick this up, I'm going to include the uh, audio files at the three different temples. I'm also going to supply you with the MIDI tracks so that if you have uh, uh, a MIDI uh, capability, 
you can uh, import the tracks and practice on, on your own. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the end. Thank you.
go. A little something I like to call the walking game where we're taking ascending and descending patterns starting on the root and the fifth. And I hope you enjoy that and I hope you get something out of that. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.